Hello everyone! Today we are at the China Grand Buffet on Fairview Avenue in Boise, Idaho. And uh, let's go on in and check out, see what they got. I will post the restaurant information including their business hours and the uh, cost here in the description below. My mom and dad are with me. It is my mom's birthday and she chose to come here for dinner tonight. Thank you. Hot tip for you all, I always get a little bowl and fill it full of the different sauces that I want. That way I can double dip to my heart's content and nobody else at the table cares because it's my own individual bowl. seem to have every variety of chicken you can think of. Potatoes. It's Idaho. We have potatoes. I started off with fried foods. I've got the sweet and sour chicken and I've got uh, that crab ragoon right here. As you can see it's not really crab rangoon it's actually cream cheese rangoon. It seems to be that's all you can get here in Boise. little palate cleanser here with the fried donut. Check out all that double dipping action. Once again, that's why I get my own little bowl of sweet and sour sauce or whatever sauces I want. I'll be honest, the taste of the food is rather bland. Um, it all kind of tastes the same to me. If I wasn't dunking it in the sweet and sour sauce, there really wouldn't be much flavor to it. The tea is good. I do like a nice cup of hot green tea with my Chinese food. It really hits the spot. The spring roll was nice and crunchy when you bit into it, 
but it really was lightly filled and had really no flavor to it at all. Oh look, more chicken. And you guessed it, more chicken. Oh my gosh, it's shrimp. It's not chicken, it's shrimp. As you can see, this is mostly mushrooms, which is fine because that's what I'm actually just getting out. I never take the pork. I always just take the mushrooms and they seem to be the least popular part of this dish, so I never feel bad. And shortly after I did this, they did come out and replenish it. And I did notice that uh, they were really good about uh, keeping the trays nice and full. So I'm going to start uh, by diving into the pineapple and to the honey chicken. And while nothing tasted terrible and the chicken was good solid pieces of chicken, it just didn't seem to matter what I ate. Nothing really had a distinctive flavor. I really couldn't tell the difference between the honey chicken and the pineapple chicken. And most of the flavors in like the pineapple had been cooked completely out. The mushrooms didn't really have any, you know, flavor to them. It just tasted like steamed mushrooms. Soy sauce to the rescue, although it just tasted like soy sauce.
Okay, so the hot and sour soup was pretty good uh, for a buffet, Chinese buffet, American Chinese buffet. I had no problem with the hot and sour soup. It was pretty tasty. forgive the camera angle this was the only way I was able to film it and get the ice cream at the same time you really need three arms when you're trying to film <laughs> chocolate soft served ice cream it was good there it is the cotton candy get one for me and one for my mom. I admit it, I love this stuff and there is nothing like freshly spun cotton candy or candy floss depending on where you live in the world oh man I am stuffed as promised from the beginning of this video I was gonna tell you about this peacock in the lobby this beautiful peacock was actually made from the root system of a tree. They preserved the actual root system to become the tail fan and then carved the peacock from the trunk. Okay, it's time for my review. All right, so first up is type. This is a buffet. I am not going to put a buffet restaurant up against a fine dining establishment. Next, it's the factors, the service, the selection, taste, cleanliness, and the cost. And next, they can get up to five spoons per factor. Three spoons for service. The employees and servers were friendly and pleasant. Four spoons for selection. They had so many different types of chicken to choose from. They did have a lot of variety, including the soups and the sushi rolls and the hibachi grill and of course that cotton candy. So there was a variety of things to choose from. So definitely four spoons on selection. Two spoons for taste. Unfortunately, everything just kind of tasted the same the exception to that would have been that hot and sour soup that i had 
And of course I did enjoy the soft serve ice cream and the cotton candy. I think I'm gonna have to try this place again and stick to like the hibachi grill and the California rolls and soup. Cleanliness Three Spoons. It's a family style buffet place, so not gonna grade too terribly hard here. Prep areas look clean, nothing was sticky, the tables were clean, so three spoons here. Cost for the three of us came to $53.17. That was with two seniors, so we did get 10% off. I will go ahead and put the prices in the description below. So the China Grand Buffet gets three spoons overall out of five. It is great for families with picky eaters or if you're needing to feed a large group at a reasonable price. However, five spoons goes to Pastry Perfection, my favorite bakery that I've stopped in many times and shown you around there. They made this custom cake for my mom. She turned 79 today and I'm adding another candle there, just one to grow on. And uh, so wishing my mom a very, very happy birthday. Thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It's free, doesn't cost you anything. Also, a thumbs up lets me know that you're liking the content I'm putting out there. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you next time.